You meant Freddie Mercury? What are you talking? You don't even know, like... Just sane people in chat. Do you see what I have to deal with all day? It's not enough to be corrected by people who are right when you're wrong. To be corrected constantly by people who are wrong when you're right, it's madness, man. It'll drive you up the damn wall. So you're getting hyper-corrected by people that are like, actually, it's uh, it's not octopodes, it's octopi. Actually, in fucking 1703, they said that you can say octopuses, octopi, or octopodes, and they'd all be okay. Well, I didn't know that. Sorry for wasting both of our time with this meaningless argument. Just shut up and pog, man. They don't know that it's actually octopi. We all, the dancing at the party, we all know it's all you talk about. They said a lot of wrong stuff back then. What are you talking about? When they said like, pretty be careful? Yeah, I say we get rid of all the fucked up. Like I, I think, and I, this is a bit we've done 10,000 times before, but I, I really do believe. Who, who are you, someone with a high school education, to tell me that your model of how to speak English is right and mine is wrong? Maybe I'm just doing it the way it ain't ever been done before. Catch your ass back in the 1600s, be like, oh, you, I don't use apostrophes, I use proper English. Taking out a fucking huge ass quill, you could draw, you're writing a letter, the first letter that you write in the letter takes up 90% of the real estate. You, deer, like who cares? Why can't we say there were six deers? Why, every time you say six deers, Somebody's got to be like, actually, it's six deer. Yeah, but actually, it was six deers. Why is that not an acceptable pluralization? Why can't you say gooses? It sounds wrong. Because you were told that it was wrong. You got to get down and get back here. Why can't you just say it correctly? Because it's filling your head with all this arbitrary rule set that doesn't make a difference. It's like you in computer programming that if they had like special cases like that, it would be so annoying. You'd be like, oh, actually, if you're going to make a for loop that ends on an odd number, you have to type for odd. Why would you, they, like, that would never fly in my first year Java class, let me tell you. Who, who was it that needed a job in 1603 that was like, my job is choosing which words it's okay to add an S to and which ones it isn't? It doesn't make any sense. Gooses, deers, why not? Who says no? Wahlbergs. Yeah, why, why do they become the Wahlburgers? I don't understand. It's decided by Bjarn. Dude, honestly, English would be a lot better if it was decided by Bjarn Scharstrup, okay? You don't even know. That's the, that's the most messed up thing about it. This is a grade school argument. Do you really want to stand with the booger eaters? Excuse me, you just used a grade school argumentation tactic. That's called an ad hominem attack. Buster. A lot of little kids also think that uh, chocolate milk is delicious. You're going to go ahead and say, oh, chocolate milk's not delicious because those kids also eat their own boogers? I thought you were anti-milk. I am, but I know you booger eaters are, like, huge into it, so I thought I would just appeal to you. Appeal to your juvenile nature. Any insane takes today? I, this is the most insane take that I've had today, which is that... There should be no proper pluralization or improper pluralization. You should just always be able to add an S to the end of a, a, a noun in order to describe a group of that noun. How about irregular words? I think irregular words are a made-up construct to make Merriam-Webster more money. I'm finally seeing through the damn looking glass. Can't wait for the manifesto. Did you know that the Unabomber put out a book like last year? That man has not been reformed by prison in the slightest. He's sitting in Supermax. He wrote a book that was like, basically the, the title of the book is like, I hate computers. I, I still hate computers. What's the Andy Daly bit when he's the cowboy on uh, Comedy Bang Bang? Don't spit on my hat and tell me it's raining. Yet another annal of wisdom from a life lived, comma, as, a, as the West's leading poet laureate. That he's based, Dalton, I don't want to go off on a rant here, but does anybody else think that the Unabomber is to, uh, I just, I lost confidence in myself. <laughs> I lost, I lost confidence in the bit. Let's, let's back it up. Okay. That's fine. That's okay. It happens. It happens all, it happens now and then.